Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey there, continent conquerors. Welcome to another episode of World Wonders with your favorite explorer, Captain Continental. Today, we're taking a virtual trip to the amazing continent of South America. Ready for an adventure? Let's get started. Did you know that there are two American continents? Yep, you heard that right. There is North America and then there is South America, which is the continent we are talking about today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our virtual trip to the amazing continent of South America. Just like its neighbor to the north, South America was home to indigenous people long before European explorers and settlers visited and colonized the land. Evidence of human life on the continent dates all the way back to 9000 BC in the modern-day country of Peru. The Incan civilization lived near the Andes Mountains and began as a small tribe that grew into a huge, well-organized society during the 13th century. At its largest, the empire stretched about 2,200 miles in the Andes along the Pacific coast of the continent. The Incan civilization lasted just 200 years until the Spanish invaded and captured most of the empire during the 16th century. The ancient city of Machu Picchu, which means Old Mountain, was rediscovered in 1911 and is considered one of the seven new wonders of the world. Today, South America is the fourth largest continent in the world, with an area of about 6.8 million square miles. It is connected to North America via the country of Panama, bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the west, the Atlantic Ocean to the east and the north, and the southern, or Antarctic, ocean to the south. With a total population of more than 400 million people, making it the fifth largest in population of the seven continents. Joke time. Why did the scarecrow become an explorer? Because he was outstanding in his field. It's pop quiz time. Are you ready to test your knowledge? Is South America the fourth largest continent in the world? A. True. B. False. Did you select the option A? Yes, you are right. Spanish is the main language in most countries of South America, except for the people living in Brazil who speak Portuguese. Many people speak English as a second language. Quechua is a common language spoken by the indigenous people of the continent who reside in several different countries. Here is an interesting fact. There are only two landlocked countries inside South America, Bolivia and Paraguay. All of the other countries in the continent are partly bordered by the ocean. Can you guess which country is the largest in South America? If you said Brazil, you are correct. Brazil covers more than half of the continent's landmass and is only slightly smaller than the United States. Brazil is the fifth largest country in the world in size and population. Brasilia is the capital city of the country. Sao Paulo is the most populous city in Brazil and in South America as a whole with a population of nearly 15 million people. Joke time. What do you call a bear who loves to travel? A globetrotter. <laughs> it's time for another quiz. Which country is the largest in South America? A, Argentina, B, Brazil, C, Chile, D, Peru. Did you select the option B? Yes, you are right. Let's move on. Remember how we mentioned that the Incan tribe lived by the Andes Mountains? The Andes are the longest continental mountain range in the world, and its highest mountain, Aconcagua, which is located in Argentina, is the second tallest mountain in the world. One of the longest rivers in the world, the Amazon, is also in South America. At 3,212 feet high, Angel Falls in Venezuela is the highest waterfall in the world. That is around 500 feet taller than the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world. There are lots of exciting attractions that bring tourists from all over the world to South American countries. We have already mentioned the ancient city of Machu Picchu, the Andes Mountains, the Amazon River, and Rainforest, and Angel Falls. But there are other cool places that people like to visit. In Brazil, there is a huge 125-foot tall statue called Christ the Redeemer, which overlooks the city of Rio de Janeiro. It is considered one of the new seven wonders of the world. 
In Bolivia, Salar de Uyuni is the world's largest salt flats. It is a prehistoric dry lake that is over 4,000 square miles and is home to many pink flamingos. Kind of makes you want to plan a trip to South America, right? Joke time. Why don't mountains get cold in the winter? Because they wear snow caps. All right, it's last question. What is the name of the 125-foot tall statue in Brazil? A, the Great Sphinx. B, the Statue of Liberty. C, Christ the Redeemer. D, the Eiffel Tower. Did you select the option? C, yes, you are absolutely right. Today, we explored the vibrant and diverse continent of South America. From the ancient Incan Empire to the Amazon rainforest, South America is full of wonders. And remember, this journey was brought to you by Goalie, the best kid's tablet. My mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.